They're going to. Hi. Hi, lovely. So today I. It is a beautiful day, first off. And second off, I am going to the doctor, as everybody knows, because I'm having terrible panic attacks about it. But I am very excited for the appointment because I'm going to be talking to my doctor about pain management and my migraines, more importantly. That's like my number one thing I want to talk to her about is something to prevent my migraines. And if we can't do that, something to just cope with my migraines so I don't have to like go to the ER or urgent care or something like that. After that, I might, we're either going out to eat and then coming home or we might be going to the giver. So that would be really cool. I thought I'd do a follow me and let you guys know what happens with the migraine stuff because I know a lot of you guys have questions about migraine type situations and headaches and I really prefer not to take something every day because I already take medicine every day so I don't know I hope we get it all figured out I'm going to go make a list right now so I know my like bullet points of things I want to talk to her because usually I get in there and we get talking and then I'm like why am I even here? I can't even remember why I'm here. I will hopefully talk to you guys in just a few. Hi guys, so I am in the doctor's office and I made my little list so I don't forget what I want to talk to her about. And I hate being back here um, all by myself. But I am. And so she might come in at any time. But like I said, I was saying yesterday, I absolutely love her and I love talking to her. That's why I have to make my list because we get like going on like different research for fibro and like new medicines and new treatments and like all sorts of stuff. So she's just really awesome. She, I just have to have a doctor that continues their education and continues to be excited about new things and researches and stuff isn't stuck in the middle ages so I think it's really cool so I'm excitedly waiting for her and even though I just saw her like a month ago but she gave me new medications and I don't really like them so hopefully we'll discuss something different and I'll be back with you guys a little later depending on how long this takes we're I'm either going to be going to eat afterwards and then going to a movie later with my mom or we have a little date a little mommy daughter date or going straight to the movie. Uh, that's what I'm hoping for because I don't like going to later movies and the f movie's at 4.30 so it depends on how long Kim takes to get here and then how long I'm in here. Hello. So uh, Lori Fike just asked me, uh, well I don't know when she asked me but I just saw it on Facebook how many spoons it took for me to go get candles but I don't know if she knew I went to the movies and to the doctors and I it took me like hmm, three to like 24 ish I, I don't even remember the last time that I fell asleep with my clothes on and the lights on that's really bad I I don't even know if I took my nighttime meds or anything. Yeah, that's crazy. I always do that. Like, if I'm out and I'm, like, doing something, I'm, like, I'm just going to go all out and do, like, everything. Because it's very rare that I get out. So I'm, I'm always, like, well, this is my only opportunity for a couple weeks to get out. So I'm just going to go ham. Like, just go everything. And now I'm going to pay for it. I literally woke up. It's like 3 a.m. And I was just like scared. <laughs> like I know I'm not supposed to be fearful. But I am. Like I was just like oh no. Like I was just going to. You know watch YouTube videos. And watch some TV. And then I was going to take my walk. And now it's like. I didn't even put my top coat on. I started doing like my nails. Because I had a couple nails missing. I didn't even put my top coat on. I seriously passed out. That's bad. In the fibro world, I know that for people that like don't 
have fibro, that seems perfectly normal. Like, yeah, if you're tired, sleep. But for people with fibro, like, they know that that is not good. It means you have no spoons and probably no spoons for the next day. Oh my gosh. I feel like hell, but not like hell hell. So I'm drink I'm about to drink some sleepy time tea and hopefully I go back to sleep and hopefully I can take one of my gabapentin so that I don't wake up like you know that fibro wake up. I was just talking to my doctor about it. I was like, you know, I pray that I wake up at like 6 a.m. ish so I can take gabapentin so I don't have that like <sighs> fibro wake up where you just feel like you've just been run over by a bus and then like you went like <coughs> like right over top of you again and then like ran over you one more time just to like be sure. Whoa, saying some prayers tonight. Also, making that video took a lot of my energy and spoons because I was really energetic and hyper and excited about my candles. <laughs> I'm like such an old lady. I get excited about yarn and candles. I, I don't know if I remember if I told you guys this, but I'll just share this story time all of a sudden. It helps me like talk when I'm in pain and not feeling well. I don't know why. My grandfather, but this was before he um, had a surgery and kind of went downhill, which was like a year ago, um, over a little over a year ago. He was getting up out of the kitchen um, chair in Florida, and he was telling me in like all seriousness, he was like, Emmy, ah, uh, because he calls me, they call me Emmy. And he said, Emmy, I started getting up out of a chair. It started to really, like, hurt me. I have to do it very slowly. The man is 92 years old. <laughs> he just started getting pain when he got out of the chair. I'm like, are you freaking kidding me right now? Look, I was just, like, looking at him, like, Lord, please do not have me have envy right now. Please do not have envy right now that my 92-year-old grandfather is just feeling pain when he sits up out of a chair. Do you like, I'm like, dude, do you know how hard it is for me to get up out of a chair? And how painful that is? Oh my gosh. The other week we went to, I vlogged it, we went to Osteria something or other it's called. It's like an Italian place. And I got sat in the middle and we literally were shoulder to shoulder sitting on the bench. So normally when I go to a restaurant, like I move all around and I tuck my legs up underneath me and I stretch and I'm always like all over the place. I don't know if people notice, but I just always am like moving and but I couldn't move at all. And when I went to get up, like I slid down the booth seat and I went to stand up and it was like, I was embarrassed. Like, it was probably one of the first times that I've been, like, really embarrassed because I don't, I don't mind sharing stuff about my illness, but, like, it was so unexpected and there was people there that I don't really know. And so I just, I really felt like an old lady. But luckily, I forget, I think it was maybe Lindsay or Alicia helped me get up. But that was, like, one of the first times that, like, I couldn't just, like, suck it up and just, like, go with it. I was, like, almost, like, it stuck in that position. So... Oh man, tomorrow, okay, I'm just going to have faith that tomorrow is going to be okay. And I'm just going to hold my zero spoons and I'm just going to rest and relax and read your guys' comments and see the entries for the giveaway, which is going on right now. So make sure you enter the giveaway by subscribing to my YouTube channel and by enter, uh, liking my Facebook page, Painful Hilarity Facebook page. And I hope you all have a free stress free day. I'm going to. <laughs> I love you guys. I'm sitting on X00's. And as always, I'll see you guys tomorrow.